Hello Internet and welcome back to Dark Dode, here with a brand new series on the point and click horror game, Detention. The only thing I really know about it is that it's set during the 1960s in Taiwan and it's supposed to be some kind of a psychological horror game. So let's go right in and see what this game has in store for us. Maybe we'll get some spoops, spoopy actions. Alright, what's happening here? Got a guy? Class, the following material is important. Pay attention, this will be on the final exam. During this time period, many provincial military leaders... Oh, it's fading? It's blurring. That's the term I'm looking for. The president then started the Northern Expedition, securing... Securing what? Look, it's Instructor Bai. Oh my god. Who is this guy? He looks like some kind of military leader. Machine, may I have a word with you? Okay, class, let's take a short break. Gotta go so fast, I need to read so quickly. Alright, I wish there was an option to click to progress, but oh well. Miss Yin. Have you seen this list before? This list of what? I guess that's what we'll try and find out. Oh no, we slept in again. Oh, it's raining outside, it's dark. Uh, did I fall asleep again? This is strange. Where is everybody? How come nobody's here? Oh, spooky. A typhoon alert? Wait, is he looking out there? There shouldn't be any typhoons this time of year. What's going on here? What is going on? I'm very confused. Oh, now we can actually uh, do stuff. What's this thing? There's a note on the table. Added a journal. Where did Miss Yin go? Is that what the note says? Whoever was passing this note in class was worried about Miss Yin. Miss Yin keeps calling in sick lately. That's weird. No kidding. Man, I hate those other subs they send in. So was that not Miss Yin that was teaching us? I'll put it in my notebook. Alright. Into the notebook it goes. I wonder what else is in this classroom. It's getting dark out. I should head home. Alright, that's good, but before we do that, let's just check the rest of the classroom. Maybe there's something important here we need to find. The chairs are pretty uncomfortable, but I'm used to it by now. Uh, the sound of howling wind. Typhoon must be getting close. Okay, is there anything over here? That's a typhoon alert, right? Typhoon alert. I thought the weather was quite nice during history class. Let's head outside, maybe we can head home. Or because this is a horror game, something weird's gonna happen and prevent us from actually going home. The front gate isn't this way. What are you doing, you player? I just wanna get home. Where is the front gate then? Can we open this door? The door is locked. Oh, of course. So we're on floor two? I'm guessing we should head down? The main gate should be along here, right? Surely. What's this? A pot for growing daffodils. There's something in the dirt. Should I dig it out? Yes, you should. Add it to journal, an old photograph. An old photograph. Can't tell who's in the picture. There's a quote written on it. The roots below the earth claim no rewards for making the branches fruitful. All right, okay. Hopefully this is all gonna mean something as we continue. That's the only route to the front gate. We've gotta figure out a way to open it. Is this like a power box? I think this is the control panel for the roll-up door. Open it? Yes, why wouldn't you open it? Okay, what's in here? It's a mechanical winch. There are instructions on the cover. I think I need a hand crank. Oh, of course we do. Well, uh, well, that, that's very bloody. I'm not, um, let's turn the light on. Oh, I thought that was like a person there. I guess not. Item received. Hand crank. Alright, what happens if we look at the wall? Diamond Sutra. Why would someone put this on the wall? I'm not familiar with Buddhist teachings. Alright, if we head outside, uh, is, is there gonna be any jump scares? Hello? No? Nobody? Mechanical winch. There are instructions on the cover. Um, okay, so we just gotta do that. Someone gonna be behind the door? 
someone gonna be waiting for us to come out and spook? It's definitely built up uh, an atmosphere so far, right at the very beginning, which is pretty good. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with getting a little bit spooked from time to time. I wonder if anything's just gonna come up and chase us. Maybe not this early on. Alright. Shortest route back home is through the auditorium. Enter. Yes! Let's enter! Oh. Well, who are you? The, who the hell are you? What the hell? And why is it getting closer? But <laughs> if you gotta do something, just do it already. You're just dragging it on. You're not making it. Oh, oh, oh no. You're not making it any better with them. Oh, that's just us. Okay. Hey, buddy. Are you trapped inside here as well? What a coincidence that we happen to meet up. What a fruitful day. Full length mirror. Makes me want to double check if my shirt's tucked in. Can we talk to this person? Uh, who's this girl? She's sleeping. Hello? It's not responding. Maybe I should get onto the stage. Yeah, I would, but uh, how do I get onto the stage? Oh, I just need a click. You go. You want to like wake up? Yo, go. What are you doing here? Didn't you read that there's a typhoon? Hello? Wake up. You shouldn't be here. Um, where am I? The auditorium. You were sleeping on the stage. Huh? School is cancelled. School is cancelled because a typhoon is coming. Typhoon? I just came from my classroom. You're the first person I've come across. Weird, how did I... We should get going. It's getting dark in here. The rain is starting to pour. Wait, my necklace is gone. What? Who cares about a stupid necklace? We've got to get home! Have you seen my necklace? I... Uh, no, no. Your necklace is fucking gone. How? I uh, must have lost it somewhere. Okay. I'm not leaving without it. Of course she's not leaving without the damn necklace. Why would we have to... Why would we get out of here before a typhoon comes? Right, that makes no sense. Why would you want safety when you can look for a damn necklace? Let me guess. If we go into this door, it's going to say no. I was going to say yes? Okay, maybe this isn't the actual way out. What's that? Is that a necklace? Something's in there, but I can't quite reach it. An old exhaust fan. The power is off. There's a dim sound coming from the end of the vent shaft. An old exhaust fan. The power's off. And yada yada yada. Alright, let's come back. Alright, I'm not sure what's up with the music right now. Black balls and class signs. This stuff is used during our school assemblies. What's in here? There's an umbrella in the bucket. Take the umbrella? Yes, we will. Maybe we can use the broken umbrella to fetch the thing. That could or could not be the necklace. Alright, let's put it in here. Right? And yeah, there we go. Genius. Not in receive. White Jade Deer Pendant. This is the girls, right? It better be the girls. I swear to God, if there are multiple necklaces in this damn school, well, there's a hurricane, no typhoon, about to strike. Where's the girl? Oi, girl, get here. I've got something for you. Here, have this. It's a gift. Is this the necklace? You found it. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, now can we actually get out of here? Where did you find it? In the storage room next to the stage. It seems like someone threw it into a vent in there. What? Why would it be in such a place? Well, forget it. You found it anyways. Let's get going before the rain gets heavy. Sure. Now, which way is the actual exit? Because I entered in from the right. So I, I could only assume that the exit is... Oh, th this is probably the exit. Okay, I probably should have looked around first. Or blindly going into a room. Oh, pretty graphics. I like it. Wow, it's raining pretty hard already. Yeah, maybe if we left a bit earlier. It's too dangerous to stay here any longer. Let's go. 
Why weren't you saying that five minutes earlier instead of trying to find your necklace? What's so important about it? What does that say? This rock's been sitting here for quite some time now. People say it fell from a small temple on the mountain. Okay, but yeah, we gotta get home. Because a typhoon is no joke. Here's the campus exit. Alright, let's go. It's the security office by the main gate. I guess even the guard left for home. Here's the campus exit. Alright, can we like leave? Thank you! I swear to god. This guy's just like talk. Oh, that looks like a uh a Christian cross. Which Oh, it's actually supposed to be a sign. Never mind. What? What do you mean what? What's the problem? The bridge collapsed? No freaking way. What? Let me see. Ah. Oh. oh god. Yeah, man. <laughs> Whoa, why is the river red? This looks like it looks it kinda looks like blood. Blood? Don't say that! Sorry, I wasn't thinking. What happened? Okay, look, okay. Just calm down. We've we got to think about it. It's just got to be a reasonable explanation. Hmm. Why is it red? Even muddy water shouldn't be this color. Ah. Uh, I... I reckon... I think I know the cause of this. There are a few factories located upstream. It's probably them dumping chemical waste into the river under cover of the typhoon. Are you sure? I've heard people talking about it. Perhaps you're right. The worst part is we don't have a way to go downhill now with the bridge gone. Tons of people cross this bridge every day. This bridge should have been better maintained. Guess we have to head back to school. It won't do us any good standing here in the middle of the rain. True. Don't worry, it's, it's just a typhoon. It's just, it's just a typhoon. School has enough supplies for us to get through the storm. Alright, I guess I can trust you. You seem like a reliable person. Just trying to be optimistic. Let's get going then. Well, something's gonna happen here because the girl said that he's a reliable person. Now, to spice things up in the story, the reliable person might do something unreliable. Oh, wet and tired. What a day. Just rest up for now. We may have to spend the night here. Oh wait, I haven't officially thanked you for finding my necklace for me. I'm Feng Rei Shin. A senior from Miss Jean's class. You can call me Ray. How about you? What grade are you in? So you're my senior. Miss Fang, I'm Wei Chun Ting. You don't have to be formal with me, it's a bit awkward. Just Ray is fine. Normally we don't go to the senior building. I heard that it's a very competitive environment where everyone works their butt off studying. Ah, uh, it's not that awful. Some of us still do what we want. I do envy you for graduating. Soon you won't have to see Guo, Guo Fong on a daily basis anymore. Oh man, this game is probably gonna get me with its names and pronunciations. Instructor Bai? I don't even dare call him by his whole name. Rumor says he was a relentless killer during the war. I wouldn't dare do that in front of him either. We're all pretty terrified of him. We avoid him any possible way we can. Uh, oh. Hey you, come here. Why are you hiding from me? Are you affiliated with the commies? Whoa, that was a perfect imitation. Giving me goosebumps. Ah, uh, anyway, just hang on tight, buddy. It'll be your turn to graduate next year. Uh, life's a struggle. Hey, I know what we can do. Let me go use that phone in the principal's office. See if I can contact anybody. Then I'll grab that heater in the storage room and a couple blankets from health center. That should be enough for us to get through the night. That's a well thought out plan. Do you need any help? I'll be fine on my own. You should rest up here, missus. The man's got it under control. Hold on there now. Don't take me as one of those spoiled pampered girls. I'm probably more capable than most you boys. Sorry, that <laughs> that came out the wrong way. I'm not sure exactly how you wanted that to come out because I'm... It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I know you were just trying to help. Then again, this is Taiwan. Then again, this is the 1960s. So, a lot has changed in 60-ish years. Okay, how about this? I'll go make the phone call, then we can find what we need together and carry them back. Alright, that sounds good. 
I'll wait for you right here. Just hurry back. It's getting real dark in here. I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion that when we come back after making the phone call, she's going to be gone or something's going to happen or we're going to meet some kind of a monster or maybe not a monster, but maybe a spooky occurrence. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of the monster. Um, how do I like explore the school? Do I have to like go outside? I assume I have to go outside. Does that make sense? Oh, it's very... Whoa. Wait, what? What the... What? What is this? I, I can't go anywhere. Okay. I, do I have to just keep going? I feel like I pressed any buttons. Like, uh, I, I don't know. I know, man, this is kind of weird. Oh, I'm starting to slow down as I can continue going to the left. Is this where the principal's office is? It's so dark, but not black kind of dark, just kind of like a gray dark. His footsteps echoed softly, invoking a trance, oh, a trace of suspense in me. Reality faded away as time stood still. I swallowed hard as the emptiness confined me. Whoa. What? The fuck is this? What? What? I'm so fucking confused right now. I'm so confused. What? But you were in a schoolroom. Is he dead? Why are there candles? Is his eyes gonna open up? Ah. Oh, he's got a lot of scratches on him. Oh, why? What happened? It, it looks like he's not breathing at all. Is... Is he... Is he dead? But how? It was fine just a moment ago. I think more than the moment has occurred. Oh my god, I just met you. Tell me this is only a bad dream. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, Ray. S -s take a deep breath. Oh. There's a notebook on the stage. It's Ray's journal. Oh, the thing that we were using to keep all the pictures. So I'm looking through it earlier. Perhaps there are clues to what happened? Alright, we have our necklace, we have the journal. And what about you, buddy? Uh, I guess not. I'm going to 100% assume that he's dead. I guess now is when the game really starts. That, that whole thing before was just the prologue. And before I was able to click around here to go up onto the stage. But I guess that's just not a thing anymore. It's too dark to see anything. What happens if we go outside? It's too dark to see anything. All right. Well, let's go to the left and see if there is something that we can do where it's not too dark to see anything. Inside this door? Nope, it's still too dark to see anything. There's nothing here. Oh, I know this jacket. It belongs to Mr. Kyle. Well, what happens if we collect this candle? I should take this candle with me. This should light the way. All right, cool. Ah, oh, now we've got a light around us. Now we can go into places, right? All right. So we investigated this. Oh, now there's a rat. I was going to say, we investigated this fan before. It looks like there is different stuff now. The book club. No, book club. A note with a conversation. Hey, I heard a teacher's... I, uh, Hey, I heard a teacher started a club for the students and are reading some prohibited books. Really? I thought that was the book club was... Really? I thought that the book club was just a place for studying. Alright, there's a rat over there. Oh, it's a mouse. Okay, whatever. No wonder it smells so bad in here. What else is in here? Who used to admire the flag bearer? Thought it was the coolest job. Now I just want to get away from all of this. The basket's filled with trash. My question is, why is it this girl and that other guy, specifically, that were locked, or well, trapped inside this school? Why no one else? I guess, like, I can understand one person being trapped in here. Why two? Why two specifically? Because more than one person in there, by pure chance, is kind of interesting. Why is there a grave here? The engravings on the tombstone were all rubbed off. Interesting. That was to continue going this way. But that happens with a bridge. When was this built? A shrine? 
worshipping a few deities. I don't recognize any of them other than the Earth God. Huh? What's that thing next to the incense burner? Auditorium key? There's a note under the key. What's this? Facing the lingered. Picked up at the shrine. Seems like a page from a children's book. Don't be scared when you see the lingered. Just hold your breath and quietly walk away. I'm going to assume that the lingered are going to pop up and the way we need to avoid them is walking away and having them not spot us. Whoa. The fuck is that? Is that one of them? I swear to God, that's one of them. Oh. Oh, I can hear it's in my right ear. Oh, it's in my right ear. Oh. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Don't worry about it. Oh. The fuck are you? All right, all right, buddy, just stay there. You're fine. Just don't worry about me, okay? Buddy, stay there. Stay there, okay? I don't mean you any harm. Oh, shit, I'm about to pass out. Oh, dog, get out here. Get out here. Go on, run inside. Oh, my God. Are they going to chase me inside? Okay, so all I need to do to escape is run inside. And that should be all that's necessary. Hey, buddy. How, how, <laughs> how is it hiding? <laughs> oh, see what I did there? Yeah, quite funny if I say so myself. Hope I can wake up from this nightmare. Is that what it says? That I hope that I can wake up from this nightmare. The door's locked. How about you use the key? This should be the right key. All right. So that's interesting. I can hold my breath, but, oh, wait, you're running. There's a ringing in my left ear. Like a telephone ring. What could that possibly mean? That will be the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to slap the like button and leave a comment down below. If you're enjoying the series so far, make sure to subscribe to to stay up to date with all my latest content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video.